Hello, everybody. The guitar rabbi here with you. And um, I want to go over something today that deals with a question that I get from a lot of uh, my students. And I get from a lot of the parents of my students as well. One of the things that we do over at the, the Guitar Academy, which you can visit by going to guitaracademy.us and actually take lessons from me right over there, is um, usually there's a free consultation that starts so I can know where it is that the students um, are coming from and all that stuff to make sure that that uh, my lessons will suit them to, to be able to take meet them where they're at and take them where it is they want to go. And one of the questions that I get a lot from in, um, students that um, have not purchased a guitar yet, but are planning on it during the consultation, and then asking about other equipment and all that other stuff, what it is that they need, is whether or not they've heard from some that uh, it is best to start out with acoustic before it is that they start playing electric. This is a big misnomer, and I will tell you why based upon my very own experience. When I was 15 years old, I wanted to learn how to play guitar after seeing Van Halen in concert. Uh, for my 15th birthday, I got to see Van Halen in concert. And my parents ended up uh, many months later going and getting me a, um, an acoustic guitar. It was a Fender acoustic guitar, and I had no interest in acoustic to be perfectly honest, because, well, my guitar heroes did not play the big hits, you know, the songs that I liked, acoustic. It was all about this. It was all about the electric. But the thing is that the guitar teacher over at the music center was a big advocate of a person going and starting out with acoustic, and then later on, going and making the investment into an electric. Now, first of all, one of the things you got to realize is the way the business works, okay? Because this was the only guitar place in town. The place ended up closing down about 10 years later. And so considering that they actually worked for this particular place that sold guitars called the Music Center, they were trying to get a repeat customer in terms of their inventory, okay? So if a person's hell bent upon that of playing electric guitar, playing some, you know, stuff from Eddie Van Halen, CeCe DeVille, that kind of style of guitar playing, then what you're going to want to do then is try and sell them two guitars by making them go and do acoustic first. But this right here caused a lot of problems for me. A year later, whenever it is that I was able to get and uh, pay for an electric guitar myself, ended up getting an Ibanez RX series and a uh, practice crate amp. The thing with an acoustic guitar is that you have much different strings on it. And the way that it is that you fret the guitar is a lot different. The way that it is that you play an acoustic guitar is a lot different. Now, psychologically speaking, if a person goes and starts out with an acoustic guitar, they're going to push their strings down harder on their electric guitar. When I picked back up the guitar after 14 years of putting it down, not playing at all, I had to do some basic exercises of basically making sure that I am not pressing down the strings too hard. Because again, I learned some bad habits starting out with acoustic because I would go to an electric guitar and I would press down these strings like you would not believe. Now, these will cause the strings to become slightly out of tune whenever it is that you fret them because you're pushing them down too hard, putting extra tension on them so they will go slightly sharp. And so this was really problematic. And I would play the electric guitar the same way that I would play the acoustic guitar and nobody 
told me any better. It wasn't until maybe a year later till I realized, oh, well, that F chord isn't too hard to do on the electric guitar. But I would still try and put it down with all the force I had to, you know, um, on the electric guitar or the B minor chord. I, I always dreaded when my guitar teacher and I had my acoustic with me, he would make me go and do bar chords and all that stuff. And so, you know, fearing those things also led me away from playing bar co chords on my electric guitar as well, which also hampered me from moving forward at the same time. And whenever it is that I ended up getting my new guitar, and picking it back up after 14 years, I had to reprogram my brain. And it was something that I would not have had to do if it is that I did not start out with an acoustic. Ladies and gentlemen, today, in today's time, it's, it's amazing. I, I saw on Sweetwater's website. Sweetwater is where I would encourage all of you to get your guitar equipment to be perfectly honest they have the best customer service in the business whenever i order something as small as strings they give me a call to confirm my order and ask me if i have any questions over strings i mean that that kind of customer service you do not get anywhere else but i was going to their website and i noticed you know i as you guys know i ordered a uh, a uh, slash uh uh Appetite for Destruction, Les Paul. She'll be here in a couple of weeks. I'm very excited about that. But I noticed that they have a pack on their website of the Epiphone version of the Appetite for Destruction, Les Paul, with a gig bag, with an amp, with picks, with a strap for 300 and I think $349. Now, to put this into perspective, I bought an RX, an Ibanez RX series in 1996 for $250. Had to pay $250 for, I think, a 15-watt crate amp. And none of these things came with a gig bag. None of these things came with a strap. And, of course, they're going to get their $5 out of the picks from me and all that stuff. So I'm looking at a... Uh, guitar that I had back then that is not of the same quality as, say, the Epiphone and of that particular amp that uh, is with the um, slash uh, pack that they have over there at Sweetwater. Today, you can get a really good budget guitar through various companies like Epiphone. Harley, uh, Harley Benton, uh, PRS now even has a budget guitar at $4.99 with all the gear that it is that you need for less than what it is that I paid for all of my equipment that was really substandard equipment back in 1996. So it's not about the investment anymore. It's not about putting more money into playing electric than it is playing acoustic. In fact, I ended up going and getting a uh, Glary for my um, fiance's daughter. And I think I got that Glary for her for like $70. But they had a pack with the Glary that you can get an amp. And, you know, of course, all the other stuff, the gig bag, the strap and all that stuff. You know, I think she ended up getting the gig, big gig bag and the strap and all that stuff. But uh, it also came with an amp for like $110. Now, to put that into, uh, to kind of clarify that, the Fender acoustic that I had was $400 back in 1995. So it's not a whole thing about investment anymore. It used to be that way back in, you know, 1995 because, you know, you didn't have the Glaries, you didn't have the Harley Bentons, and you didn't have the internet to go and try and find the best deal. And so that also is one of the reasons why a person would say, we'll start with a minimal investment, you know, $300, $400, you get the entire package of what you need to play acoustic guitar before making a big investment. Now, 
your electric packs are cheaper than the acoustic guitar now. So the thing is that I will tell you, if it is that you are planning on starting guitar lessons with me or anybody else, I would suggest a couple of different things. If you want to play electric, if you are primarily going to play electric and that's what you're excited about, don't get an acoustic. Get an electric. And check out the reviews that you find all over YouTube and several other places from individuals that have gone and done these budget guitars. But make sure if you're going to get a budget guitar, make sure to get one that excites you to play. There's some really good looking ones out there that will make you feel like a rock star just in how it looks. And something like that will encourage you to practice, encourage you to play. You know, people thought I was out of my mind, you know, you're going to pay $700 for a, a, a guitar and you haven't played in 14 years. I knew that getting this guitar right here, this uh, um, EVH Wolfgang guitar, would encourage me to play, encourage me to get better, encourage me to practice. There's a psychological, um, there's a psychological thing that happens to all of us whenever it is that we want to go and pick up an interest, an, an, an instrument. If we get like, uh, I remember the, the, the budget one at that time was gremlin. I don't think gremlins even still are around anymore, but my little brother had a gremlin. Uh, gremlin acoustic guitar and i'll tell you there was nothing about that guitar that would encourage you to want to pick it up and to play in fact he ended up giving up on the guitar as a matter of fact and i think he ended up playing drums later on ended up getting a nice pearl set of drums and he did very well with with the drums but you know not being encouraged to play because of the fact that he had that gremlin guitar and all that stuff, that was maybe about $150 down the drain right there for my parents. If you have to, take the time and save up for a premium guitar. Don't think that you have to start out with a budget guitar, like a Glary or something of the sort. But also realize that there is a style of guitar that is in the budget category that will encourage you to play. And if you get that, uh, if you if you see the reviews or you hear it being played and you're like, oh, that's the one right there. That's the one that's going to encourage me to play. Make sure to go and do what it is that you have to do. Save up and get that more expensive guitar if you want. Do some good research. Do some good re research and look around. Don't just go and say, well, that one's in my budget range. I'm going to go and get that one. Get one that is going to encourage you to play, encourage you to practice. And then later on, you can add the new stuff. You can get the better stuff later on. If it is that you do start out with a budget guitar that you like, like a Harley Benton or something like that. All right. So I hope that this has helped some of you who are, you know, either looking at starting out with guitar or looking at uh, getting a guitar for your child or something like that. Get them involved in the process. If it is that you have a child, that it is that uh, you're wanting um, to help them in terms of starting out with guitar. All right. This is the guitar rabbi, uh, Christopher Fredrickson. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your week. All right. Shalom, bracha. Peace and a blessing. Shalom.